Hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tribal Electric Tuesdays, where we dive into the technique of separating botanical particles using static electricity. If you're curious about this topic, keep watching. Today we want to dive into why electrostatic separation can be beneficial to process products such as Keef. So Keef is a product that is typically extracted by using some sort of agitation to simply dislodge the trichomes from the biomass. And this can be done with uh, fresh biomass. It can It's typically done with a dry biomass. The reasons that these methods are common is because they're really simple to do. They're very fast, very easy to accomplish, and it's a pure method of doing it as far as there are no chemicals involved, and you uh, retain a full profile of the terpenoids, especially when it's a fresh uh, material. So what we have here is a 10x zoom of Keef, and I'm going to show you four different samples from different types of biomass. I just want to appreciate what the constituents are of these products to really just have an idea of the challenges that we're facing with this type of product. And I guess this would be the typical type of product that would be perfect to separate with electrostatic separation. And this can be product that comes from some sort of tumbler. Um, it just could be like dry sift of, of some type, uh, sieved or not. This could come from fresh uh, frozen flour using some sort of freezing technique, uh, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, or this could, this particular sample here is all dry cured material that has been tumbled to extract the keef. And you'll see different particles. We have trichomes, we have dirt and whatnot. The little green particles are probably flower, bits of pieces of flower, of leaves, or something like that, then you'll see some uh, pointy bits that those can either be the stalks that attach to the trichome heads. They can also be systolithic trichomes. It's just a different shape of trichomes. Trichomes come in uh, several shapes. The ones that are easiest to collect are the round bulbous trichomes. And you'll see plenty of those in this sample here. This particular sample was actually extracted using dry ice where they actually throw dry ice in a tumbler and that uh, freezes the particles, makes them brittle and easier to extract. Look at all those uh, trichomes and all, all those contaminants. Okay, so we have another sample. You can clearly see it's a different uh, tone, shade, colors. Obviously it's, it's, it's different, it has a lot a lot more smaller particles, a lot less uh, round heads, lots of systolithic um, trichomes, very interesting material and also lots of biomass. So there definitely is a difference between the two samples and nuances right in extraction techniques. I'm not exactly sure how this particular sample was extracted, but all these four samples are hemp, but you can really see the effects of one different extraction method from another. So obviously the reason to clean this stuff up would be because Keef varies in purity. Let's say it's typically around 30% uh, total active cannabinoids, which would mean that the percentage of heads or, or just uh, trichomes in general would be in the tune of that 30 some odd percent. And so if you want to increase the purity, then you need to eliminate the contaminants. And why do you want to eliminate the contaminants? Because honestly, if you just wanted to smoke flour, just smoke flour. However, uh, Keef does play its role and there are some fabulous products that are made with Keef as is, but you can increase the potency without really losing much. Sometimes the contaminants might give the product an off taste that not everybody can enjoy. So there's a, a benefit, right, to increasing purity by removing those contaminants and look at these sample just the, the what a large amount of of just contaminants are there there's all kinds of stuff and they're very small particles now one of the challenges that we've discussed right you see how there's such a variance in the particle size so if we try to separate this as is with 
such a varying degree of sizes, it'll be hard to charge all the particles homogeneously. So of course, this sort of product first would need to be sieved so we could have some semblance of homogeneity in the particle size. So then those particles could be charged at a, a reasonably similar level of charge. So then that makes the separation easier. Unfortunately, heads charge a certain way, contaminants and everything else charge a different way. There are some questions about chemistry's effects on the particle charge. So there's definitely some things to consider there on how effective the method will be on all types of biomass. If you see just the sample here, there's so much variance in these four samples, but um, nonetheless, you can clearly see all of those round trichome heads should be able to recover them. And then the final product should be very clean, but the contaminants will contain a certain level of cannabinoids and those could be processed in a different way. Maybe those can be extracted with some sort of solvent if that's what you're, you're going for, or you could go for, or it could be some sort of food grade product. But wow, look at all those contaminants on this thing. Under this, you have these pretty round uh, trachome heads. It's just nice to look at, to be honest with you. I like this kind of stuff. And we have, we have another sample. Again, this is all hemp. There's a lot more systolithic trichomes or, or just stalks. Again, this is all 10 times magnification. This is actually done with a mitutoyo objective this is a microscope objective and we use cameras to um create these images well there is a lot of systolithic hairs so you know I, I would imagine this was going to be tough to separate simply because i'm not seeing a lot of round trichomes and the the difference in charge from different particles it's just the way they can charge is very different because charge is dependent on the shape of a particle it's dependent dependent on the surface roughness however trichome heads charge a certain way and everything else charges differently so at least you'll be able to collect the heads out of this you'll probably still have a significant amount of cannabinoids left in the stalks and and, and just the waste in general just because look at this type of product no way of knowing without a COA exactly what um, the waste, the bagasse, the um, rejects are going to have. But yeah, it's very, very interesting how different it is one type of product to the other. Lots of needle-like structures in this, in this product. But there you have a lot of nice round trichomes. And just an update on the electrostatic separator. We've sent out samples for people to test. As you can see, a lot of this is going to be not the technology itself, whether the technology works or not. We know it works on the glove, you know, but it, there's such huge variance in all of these types of biomass that I think that the SOP is going to be as important as the actual equipment itself. So there is a lot of R&D that has to go into how to perfect the method and maybe the machine has to be tweaked just to get that sweet spot and to work with a broader variety of particles. And then also we are going to be dealing with very high um, voltages, which can be very deadly, especially if um, you have some sort of heart condition and for some reason you were uh, to shock yourself it can be very dangerous but um yeah uh, demos have gone out uh, people are going to start testing and we'll see if if further changes need to be done but the idea is to release a working model probably for mj bizcon that's always been the goal hopefully we can accomplish those goals well look at the sample i mean there is just all kinds of fuzzy stuff going on here well next sample Again, there's a huge uh, change in the hue. I'm not color correcting any of these images. This is just the Keef itself, the kind of color it has. And if you see pictures of the actual bags of this stuff, you can see there's a very, very, very different colors. Um, and again, look at the morphology of the trichomes. This has a lot more uh, round bulbous trichomes. 
little bit of systolithic trichomes there, or, or again, maybe stalks and little bits of stalks. And gosh, is this dirt or, or maybe it's just really ground uh, particulate, ground stalks, ground uh, trichomes. So obviously the different charged particles are going to charge differently, right? The little ones charge less than the big ones. And if you try to dump them all together, the little ones are going to get pulled to once to whatever electrode they're closest to regardless of the charge or they'll polarize differently right and it creates all kinds of havoc so fortunately like i said before it's just that the heads will charge differently than all the contaminants so it makes a separation you know almost inevitable but just look at all the contaminants in this thing wow this is some crazy stuff Yeah. Solving this uh, ice water extracted stuff obviously would be a lot cleaner. So when you're dealing with an even cleaner product, there is a higher degree of efficiency that you can achieve. But nonetheless, I mean, if you took this whatever 30% product and you were able to kick it up 60, 70, 80%, I think that's still a huge win because again, the reason people, one of the reasons that you would do this sort of processing is just because it's it's fast, it's cheap. And of course there's a market for it. But again, wow, this is very interesting. Look at look at the difference. This 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 product seems to have a lot a lot smaller pieces, a lot smaller contaminants that I'm not really sure what that is. Dirt, pollen, and I'm sure it's all of the above to be honest with you. It's very interesting. Wow. Yeah, and I really appreciate you guys listening to me talk. <laughs> the channel's just grown incredible. The amount of hours people listen to me talk is, is insane. And the amount of subscribers that we've had is just growing exponentially. It really encourages me to keep creating this sort of content. I actually do find this entertaining. So, yeah. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, stay tuned for next week. I'll keep uh, posting these tribal videos. Hi everyone. Thanks for watching. If you found this video entertaining and you learned something today, please consider supporting us by clicking this button here. Much appreciated.